Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at these guys, the Bebob Micro V-mount and Gold Mount batteries. Hope you guys like my setup here. It looks very much like the Wheel of Fortune prize uh, catalog. These guys are made in Germany. Um, they come in both the V-mount and the Gold Mount, depending on what battery uh, mount you have for your rig. They are really, really small. Um, if you look at the, this is a 45 watt hour one, 98 watt hour one, and this is the 150 watt hour one. Um, the 150 is tiny, compare it to a regular size V-mount. They're really light, they're really compact. They're using um, a new kind of technology to make the battery smaller, make it so that you can, um, it's not as huge a weight on your shoulder. If you've never used V-mount batteries or gold mount batteries um, for your DSLR or your digital cinema camera, um, they're pretty great. They're essentially one power source that can power your entire rig. Um, for instance, here I have all the stuff that I would typically put on my C200. Um, the camera isn't here because the camera is there. It's a battery plate to power the camera itself. It's a uh, wireless transmitter to push the signal over to the video village or the director's monitor and this big, nice, bright seven inch um, TV logic display. Rather than having separate batteries for all of these units um, and anything else you wanna put on your camera, the idea of a battery system like this is that you have one battery that powers everything so that you can keep track of how full of power it is, um, and you don't need to keep swapping and keep worrying about what's gonna go dead when. You can basically have a suite of batteries, they're all charged, you know how long they last. Um, these guys have a little power indicator on the side. When you push this little button, it lights up to tell you how much power is left. And it means that in between, you know, two takes, you can swap out the battery, say, you know, you have your 98 watt hour on here, that's powering everything. Um, but in between takes, you basically slide it off, slide another one on, power cycle everything, and suddenly you're good to go for as long as it takes. Compare that with um, having separate batteries on, you know, the different things, not knowing when they're gonna run out, um, having to keep lots of different types of batteries charged because it's so much more dependable. You can shoot for longer, you can swap over quicker, and you can really get going um, and get the shots that you need. This is probably the one that I've used the most, the 45 watt hour one, because it's absolutely tiny. Like if I'm just going and shooting somewhere in the hills or I'm shooting outside like I did on Neon Noir, I can put this on and it'll power my whole system for an hour and I don't need to carry the extra weight um, of a 98 or 150 watt hour battery. I can always have a spare one in my pack, but usually um, this keeps the camera itself really, really light while keeping everything powered. The Bebobs are compatible with all major um, camera systems, they, do, they are able to send the signal of how much charge they have left to um, RED, ARRI and Sony cameras. So you actually see in the camera how much, in a, uh, how much power is left, how much time is left. They also have a, this very cool reversible um, D-tap on top of the unit itself. When I first saw this, I didn't really know what it was. I didn't have anything that had three um, power prongs, but then I realized that it lets you plug a battery in in this direction, but it also lets you plug a battery in facing the opposite way in that direction, which is really useful. These guys also have a powered USB thing on the top. I use this for this um, very cool telescoping um, light that uh, I can plug in on top. And uh, if I'm shooting in a studio, I can basically just either use this as an eye light, um, a really subtle eye light for talent, or I can use this um, to basically see what I'm doing in the dark. Speaking of light, these guys actually have this amazing feature where you double click the power indicator and a little light on the battery itself turns on so that you're outside at night or you're in a darkened studio, you can see to um, connect the battery to the battery plate. Kind of indicative of how much thought has gone into the design of these and sort of how high end they are. Um, I'll put the links in the description for these. There are a lot of companies now um, putting their name on different types of batteries. Um, you're not really sure where they're made. Uh, putting a battery on your 10 or 20 or $30,000 camera is a real risk. Um, if it's not properly made or it's not properly calibrated, it can definitely fry um, the camera. I've had that happen. Um, so now I tend to stick with things that are industry standard. 
Uh, these certainly are and have really come with a really good reputation. I've used them on the C200 for three or four months now without any issues at all. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.